Good morning, Berlin. It's an honor to stand here at OffensiveCon, where the most forward-thinking minds in cybersecurity converge. Participating in a conference like this gives us an incredible opportunity to architect the future. One month ago, we suddenly lost my sister and Margin Research's founder, Sophia, who many of you knew personally and who should have been here today. By being here, we celebrate her indomitable spirit and her dedication to our industry. Whether we have already met or are meeting this week for the first time, I hope to get to know you better as I continue to lead Margin Research in the way that Sophia would have wanted. While we have lost a friend, a colleague, and a sister, our being here today means we are carrying on with an important task. This is something Sophia would have wanted, expected, and celebrated. Our work of offensive security isn't merely a practice. It's a necessity. It's about proactivity, anticipating and countering threats before they can manifest. Here at OffensiveCon, we learn more to better push the boundaries of what's possible. Offensive security stands as the cornerstone of a larger field of engagement, defining not only the landscape of battle, but also its essence. To truly comprehend its significance, we must carefully contemplate its fundamental definitions. For what is our offensive schema designed? For some, it's a relentless pursuit of uncovering new attack vectors or discovering groundbreaking vulnerabilities. For others, it represents an unparalleled educational opportunity, a chance to hone our intellects against those who seek to impede our progress. Our industry is one built around innovation. My sister knew this. In fact, that's why we're gathered here in Berlin, to advance our own knowledge and challenge prevailing norms. This pursuit of continual learning is something very close to the mission of Sophia, myself, and of Margin. One particularly innovative part of that mission that I'd like to touch on is the role of AI in our industry. The rise of generally available AI tools is changing the landscape of the digital battleground, both by accelerating the arms race and creating novel tactics therein. This makes proactive asymmetric strategies more necessary and requires offensive and defensive AI deployment to do it. What do we mean by asymmetric in the realm of cybersecurity? Sophia and I frequently discussed military strategy. We studied the history of conflict. Chess and risk were particularly favored recreational war games growing up. We learned the sharpest tool in our strategic arsenals was our mind. I believe all of us have reached a similar conclusion at some point in our lives. In military strategy, asymmetric warfare involves combatants using vastly different tactics and resources, often allowing a smaller force to effectively engage and surprise a larger one. Translating this to our work, asymmetric strategies involve deploying unconventional methods that disrupt standard attack vectors. Unlike symmetric defense, which might involve direct and equivalent responses to attacks, asymmetric cybersecurity strategies use creative, unpredictable approaches that can include deception, misinformation, or preemptive strikes, aiming to unsettle and outmaneuver attackers. This approach is not about matching the firepower bite for bite, but about turning the inherent unpredictability of cyber threats into a strategic advantage. For those of you who have met Sophia, you know that this was one of her favorite strategies. Mm -hmm. In today's age where threats are rapidly evolving and attackers continually adapt, relying solely on traditional defensive measures is insufficient. We all know this. Asymmetric cybersecurity strategies allow us to anticipate, prepare for, and neutralize threats in a manner that is proactive rather than reactive. By employing such strategies, we're not just defending against attacks as they happen, but actively engaging in setting traps, 
deploying decoys and taking the offensive to disrupt the attacker's operations before they can execute their plans. Sophia structured her thinking thusly. In true engineering fashion, she and I analyzed the system and its governing principles, and then examined the component parts. Returning to our example, artificial intelligence can stand as both our shield and our spear. We leverage AI to enhance detection and to perform preemptive strikes against cyber threats. This approach shifts from merely reacting to threats to actively engaging them. At Margin Research, with Sophia's legacy, we're not just using our toolkit to defend. We seek to turn the attacker's strategies against them, embodying the true spirit of asymmetric cybersecurity and continuing the strategic influence of our founder. The future is an arms race, accelerated by advancements not just in AI, but elsewhere. We must continuously refine our capabilities and expand our asymmetric tactics. This conference is not just a gathering, but a call to arms, to innovate, collaborate, and establish new standards, not only for the use of AI in cybersecurity, but also for similar revolutions in other domains as well. As we engage in this conference, let's challenge ourselves to think beyond the conventional. Let's forge alliances and set the operational standards that will define the future of our field. Together, we can transform our defensive postures into strategic engagements that not only protect, but also proactively shape the cybersecurity landscape. Sophia was a fan of the saying, everything is open source if you try hard enough. As we advance in our understanding of the field, let's carry this mindset forward. It's an honor to fight alongside each of you in this quest for security, innovation, and truth. Thank you.